Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's Thursday. I'm a day behind. Okay, it's Thursday afternoon. I know you wonder where I've been. Well, uh, as I told you before, I was having some sciatic nerve problems. So I decided that I had to just shut it down for a little bit. So that's exactly what I did. Um, it bothers my legs, or it was bothering my legs up to yesterday to do any standing. And uh, with that kind of pain, you know, sometimes you can't focus. So here I am, I'm back. Yesterday, praise the Lord, I received my shots. Those shots were scheduled, but they were a long term out, a long way out. So anyway, I got my shot yesterday for that. Um, well, it's a, I have a sciatic nerve problem, but what's causing it to flare up? I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis, so that had a lot to do with it. So that was where the area I got the shots in. So when I got the shots, thank you, Jesus. I could have done the moonwalk in about two hours after getting those shots. However, uh, my legs seem to be bothering me a little bit, but now they've subsided. So I thank God for the doctors and for medication and for the power. That's all part of healing. So I'm still healing. I'm still on me and my heart's doing great. I'm in rehab for that. So I had to shut it down because I was doing two things at the same time. So now I'm back and y'all know I was chomping at the bit to get in here and cook some things. And uh, I've got some videos, a couple of videos that I was trying to load up because I think the last time I uploaded, I explained to you something was going on with my camera. Got the camera straightened out and we're praying that it's going to remain intact. But for right now, I still may be a little bit slow. I'm just like I said, I'm trying to give my body uh, the opportunity to heal because I promise y'all in the beginning, I'm going to do everything I can to get to 100%. And I firmly believe that I can if I behave myself. And also, we talked a little bit about advocating for your health. Now, you do know there's some great doctors out there and there's some doctors that sort of miss the mark out there. Thank God I've got some great doctors. My heart doctor, my cardiologist, my surgeon, all those doctors were wonderful. My, um, my actually, my um, primary care doctor is a physician assistant. She is awesome. She listens. She reacts. She responds. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. She talks to me because y'all know I'm a talker. I ask all kinds of questions. And one of the, uh, and of course, my pain doctor, of course, is a doctor. And one of the other women that works with him is a nurse practitioner. Wonderful, wonderful. So I've got a good team. And my neurologist, uh, the neuro doctor that I go to, young woman, she's a PA. I'm getting to know her. So I got all these doctors surrounding me. And one thing that I know for sure, we're all human beings and we're all prone to, not necessarily mistakes, but sometimes we don't just pick up on things. Sometimes we don't um, mention things so often. When, and especially if you got a lot going on and deal with somebody like me, you might, as a doctor, nurse, whatever, you might t forget to mention a couple of things um, that you might have g was going to mention, but I ask a lot of questions. So um, <clears throat> one of the questions that I did not cover, um, because I didn't know to cover it, and one of the things that was not mentioned was side effects. And I am the side effects queen. What well, just didn't dawn on me about side effects from my shot. Uh, one of the side effects, and you can Google it, is it raises those cortisone shots, raise your blood and your blood pressure and your sugar level if you're diabetic. And even if you're not, it still raises your blood and sugar levels. I am diabetic and I do have high blood pressure. So that happened this morning. I didn't panic. Of course, y'all know, like I said, I'm the side effects queen, so I Google. So for two or three days, my blood pressure and my blood sugar will be elevated, so... What can I say? I uh, just you have to you know wait on it to go back down a couple of days and keep doing what I do to keep my those two levels under control. So just a little uh, personal tips about me. I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be a doctor. So I make no claims with that. I'm just telling you what's going on with me. So this morning, y'all know I gotta cook something. I bought the cinnamon cinnamon raisin bread the other day. Okay, bought it at the bakery, and it's kind of dry, so I'm not going to do toast with it. What I decided to do, I'm going to make a strawberry cinnamon nut 
bread pudding, okay? So, what I'm gonna start with, this is a whole loaf of uh, this bread. It is uh, 16 ounces, a whole pound of bread. And hopefully I'm gonna be, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my big, big, big old pan out from under my counter. And I am going to use it. Y'all excuse the noise, but y'all know when I'm in the kitchen, honey, all kinds of noise going on. So let me get it rinsed out here. Wipe that water out. Okay, so instead of using my little mixing bowl there, because I know it's going to run up over, I'm going to go ahead and use my big old silver mixing bowl. And I'm going to just put that whole loaf of bread in there. And basically, that's, that's going to be the bread. I won't need any more bread. And as you know, with the bread pudding... Um, you just go ahead and break the bread up into whatever size pieces you want. Now, my neighbor made some wonderful bread pudding the other day. It was great. She didn't break hers up very big and very small. She just sort of, and she had to use a different kind of bread. So, I'm just going to do this bread like so. Okay. Just going to do it like that. And I believe that's going to be enough bread. I discovered I don't have a lot of bread laying around here. And I think this is going to make a good size bread pudding because you know I got to add all my other ingredients to it. So what I'll do, I'm going to use my Nutribullet and I'm going to put in there. And this is a small cup. I don't know for the life of me what happened to my big cup. Probably one of the kids got it. You know, they, whatever. I don't know. What am I and when I say kids, I mean my grown children. Probably got it somewhere. Okay, so what I'm doing, and because I had these, this little bit of fruit, I like fruit in my bread pudding. So I have one medium apple. If you want more, you can put more. And I had about eight strawberries. So I'm going to put those strawberries and those apples in that neutral bullet. And I've got a little, little bit of evaporator. I'm going to put the rest of that in there. Okay. And because I get bubble guts when I drink regular milk, I buy the lactate. And it's like 2%. Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and make that mixture and I'm going to pour it in there. So this is about a good cup of milk. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put it out of sight. Put my lid on there. And I'm just going to blend it all together. Now, look, this is a test kitchen one. I've never done this bread pudding before in my life, not in this manner. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. And you know what? The fun for me cooking is to try something new just about every time. I really meant to leave it kind of some of the fruit chunked up in there, but we're not going to worry about that either. Okay? I didn't put any kind, I didn't put any sugar in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because I think I'm going to probably use no more than about um, a cup of brown sugar. Oh, that's going to be good. So get that little strawberry flavor in there. Um, I had to come get the brown sugar. Yeah, I know I got my brown sugar on site. Put that right over there out of the way. And... Y'all know what? This is when I could use a bigger kitchen. But y'all know what? I always tell my girlfriend, Barb, when she says, girl, I don't need a bigger kitchen because more kitchen, more to clean. Okay. That is, uh, I'm going to start with a cup of brown sugar. Okay. And I'm going to put it on the neutral bullet again just to get the sugar mix in real good and you don't have to do it this way it's just convenient for me because i'm not supposed to be doing too much strenuous stuff and i sort of pulsed it a little bit i'm just going to take that top off and what i'm doing here is get i'm softening up my bread and just pour that out over there so that's that same one cup of milk with that fruit okay now I'm not going to put the three eggs in here, so I'm going to get my eggs going. Put one, two, three, 
That's a, that looks like a lot of bread for some oddball reason. Okay. Got me three eggs going there. Get all my little trash stuff over here to the side. Cleanup will be better later. Sort of rinse my hands a little bit. Okay, so. You know what? I might need to get me another egg going in there. I think I am. And then what I'm going to do also is go ahead. We're going to mix these eggs with another cup of milk. That's about a cup of milk. All right. Then I'm going to put um, about another a half cup of brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my um, cup of tablespoon. And remember, this is not pure vanilla extract, so I'm going to put in um, a couple tablespoons of vanilla flavor, because I like that flavor. I like that vanilla to come right on through. Regular vanilla extract, honey, you probably won't put no more than a teaspoonful, but this, because it's not regular, and I've got some allspice. Put me a little bit of allspice in there. Let's see, let's see the, I need the smallest smallest measuring spoon that I've got. Let's get that picture in frame real good there. All right, the smallest I've got is um, probably a fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah, a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to have an eighth. A fourth is because you just barely want that flavor in that bread pudding. Okay. And I'm going to put a pinch of salt in there. That salt <clears throat> will kind of cut that sugar, blend it, help it have a buttery flavor to it. So I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay. That should be about a half a teaspoon. And then I am going to go ahead and mix it. But before I do... Let me, I've got a, I, you know, you know, I have to have, I always have to have a little secret weapon type thing. I've got about a half of a package of uh, vanilla pudding mix. So I'm going to put that little half pack of vanilla pudding in there to give that oomph. Okay, other side of the room, y'all. Okay, I'm going to I'm coming back, y'all. I haven't forgotten, y'all. Sous chef. Sous chef just didn't have it ready. Okay. This is uh, about a half a pack of uh, vanilla. It was Food Line brand, believe it or not. Their vanilla bread, bread not bread, but their vanilla um, pudding mix is real good. I use it for my banana pudding. Okay. But it has like a little homemade old fashioned taste to it, so we're gonna beat it real good. Okay. That ought to be yum may. Yum may. That should be yum of may. Is that that little pickle up in there? Hey, little pickle. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Hey, you little pickle. I see you, pickle welcome. You can't hide from me. You, pickle. Did you not pause it? I didn't turn it on. Hold on, get up. Did you get stuff all on your pants? Does he have on socks? Yeah. See if he don't. I got two. I got two. Okay, I had to preempt a few things, but anyway, all my bread is in, um, well, all my bread, because I don't have anything else in here but the bread. I'm not putting anything outside of the bread, this particular bread, but anyway, it's all nice and soaked in, so I'm just going to stir it up really, really good, and the last thing I'm going to pour in there is uh, about like a half a stick of butter. Oh, I'm going to chop some nuts. I'm going to toast and chop some nuts to put in there. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be real good. 
put a few nuts and then some walnuts in there, okay? So I'm going to put about uh, maybe a three-fourths of a cup of walnuts in there. So Y'all know I have to put a little extra. Everybody just say I'm so, I do too much. Either that's the phrase or I'm extra. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't think, I'm, I don't ever think I'm doing too much. But when, if I do, it's to somebody's advantage, you know? That's the way I look at it. I like to do things that make people say, mmm, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So that's what we're going to do with this little bread pudding here today. And off to the side, I got my skillet. I'm getting ready to fry some sausage and make some, uh, <clears throat> what, what I call a baguette. Bread, put bread, uh, what do you call those things? Baguette, uh, French bread. Okay. So I got all this different, um, like I bought this bag of bread the other day. Slightly, and it's such good bread. And it'll go good with the sausage. Okay. So, let's go ahead, and I got to get my nuts chopped, and I shall return. And you know what? When you put in nuts and stuff like this, I always toast mine, because it seems like when you don't toast them and get them crunchy, and you put it in there, the nuts chew like weird to me. But anyway, hold on just a sec for me. Okay, we're back. Last phase of the bread pudding. So, I chopped a cup of toasted cinnamon almonds in here so you know I didn't put any cinnamon in here because the bread had enough cinnamon in it so I think it's perfectly seasoned with the cinnamon so I'm going to go ahead and get this into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes and uh, we'll come back and slice us a slice and have us a cup of coffee so hold on for me I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll just spray my pan. It doesn't really matter. Oh, and by the way, I did put one cup of butter in there. Can't remember if I told you that before I left or not. <clears throat> but one cup of uh, melted or uh, softened butter went into that pan. So I'm going to spray my... I'm just going to use one of my bake, tin baking pans like I always use. My favorite pan. You know, I tell you, I buy these at Sam's Club. 36 for like 8 or $9. Dollars. The best... That music, that loud music you hear is from the TV over there. It's not part of this video. I don't know what. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this into the oven. Like I say, 375 for about 45 minutes, and we'll be ready to chow on this for a little bit. So you see how all the bread, and this will be like pudding, bread pudding. You can do certain kinds, of other kind of bread pudding, like the type of bread that you use, will depend greatly on how it turns out. So this melt it down so I'm gonna put it in that pan every last bit of it and this will make a nice um you know if you have a cup of coffee with it um or just eat it you know just as a snack I, I slice it like little bars I wouldn't just show y'all the other day I did make a banana nut uh coffee cake I didn't get to show y'all that one because it got eating up and I didn't feel like videoing it so anywho when this comes out of the oven I am going to put a little uh, confectioner sugar glaze on top and crunch some nuts and uh, some cinnamon toast crunch on top how you like that so we'll, that'll be the last phase of this famous bread pudding so okay we'll be back shortly okay since we're making like little light eats little yummy eats I'm gonna do. I'm, I've got this uh, bread that I've sliced. Got it from food, not food line. I got it from uh, Sam's Club. It's called Members Mark. It's French bread. You can get two for like two ninety nine, and it is wonderful. It's nice and soft, and we didn't eat it all. We made sandwiches the day before. So what I'm doing with it is just cutting these slices of bread, putting some butter in the pan, and we're gonna fry them up. And make them like uh, French toast pancakes. That's what I'm gonna call. Y'all know I have to have my own name for them. Let them sit in there long enough to get browned up like a pancake would. And we're gonna eat them with the sausage. I think they'll make a nice little complement for one to another. Let's see how many I got sliced. I'm gonna see if I got six slices. Six coffee. 
Ooh. We'll see. I don't know if they want to eat one or put it in like a sandwich. How they going to do I'll just make one for each sausage. That's what I'll do. So you have to turn these kind of quickly. If you just want them to barely brown. I don't want them dark brown. Some of them six, I think. One for each sausage. One for each sausage. I got four in each. Two more. Let's see what this is doing. Not, not burning yet. And then I'm going to take my spatula here in a minute. I'm going to flatten them just a little bit. And, uh, I like for the sweet cream sauce that uh, goodness that I dip them in. I'm just gonna do them like that a little bit, like that a little bit. My sausage on a plate here. This will be like for two or three people to eat. My bread pudding got about another 30 minutes on it, and it'll be out and ready. So what's going on? Yep, that was ready to turn. So is that one. So is that one. So we have to cook them sort of on low heat to cook them on high because you know you got the egg, uh, the milk, and the sugar going on. And for those who like a little bit extra, they can put syrup or not. Okay. Go ahead and get that one more ready. Two more ready, rather. Oops, I'm going to have some mixture left. I might just go and do one. One more, just one extra. Just, you can just keep them turning, really. That will give each one of them a time to cook on each side really, really good. Okay. You know that made puss call mad. She gonna get beat for that. Cause she didn't tell nobody. <laughs> she said right in front of all her company. We're looking at the handmaid's tale. That is an awesome program. I don't know how many of you uh, watch it. I think it, it, it's a mind, it's a thought provoking movie not just a movie rather it is a series i've already looked at all the available series tens to just start so i'm, I'm really look, it's worth looking at over again so it's, it's really really good these are ready to come out you're gonna get them out right quick they burn on you not all of it Heat up. Oh. I don't want to eat the sausage. Oh. I'm going to do it when I'm ready. Um, Are you ready? Okay. There you go. Piece of bread. Huh? I did want one more piece of bread. I'm saying like, put one more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, put one more. You want to see that? Things settled in your home, Commander. It is a blessing to have my house in order. Back He <laughs> said back to Yeah. You don't need to get away with nothing. Huh. Get that back in the very important. I agree. You are told today. The whole time pregnancy and successful birth. I understand.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put these in. Paremus got his and go on. I'm eating off into the side edge. Surprising he's the one for three. These are so good, y'all. I guess I should have waited on my cup of coffee or tea. I'm drinking tea this morning. I always drink green tea at least one time a day. I heard somebody say green tea is probably the most um, healthiest thing you can drink. Now, I didn't quite understand if it meant the most healthiest thing you can drink in terms of coffee or tea or just in general. But I like it. You can get it in all flavors. A lot of different companies make it. So. We're gonna let those three just cook there for a minute. You see how quickly they brown, so you have to stay on top of turning them. A minute or two, those will be done. I'm just going to turn the heat down and make sure they cook all the way through to the mixture. All the way down. That's the other reason why you can't cook them too fast because that egg and milk mix, when you dip them, it does soak through to a point. We want all of that cooked all the way through. Bread pudding is cooking, moving right along, y'all. And you can put, even though I cook these with butter, if you prefer more, you know, you can put more you can put syrup on them. You can eat it with jelly, honey, or nothing at all because they are a little bit sweet. I'm going to have the opportunity to sit down and relax for a minute. Oh, what is this? I'm, oh. I got my brand new Board of Elections registration, I'm not registration, but voter registration card. Okay, I'm going to flip them again. I think since I, yeah, we just flip them right there. Just more even on the sides. I like crust it. Yeah. I do have my new voter registration card for 2020. I guess every voting term. And I didn't know that. Maybe they give you more. Yeah. Precinct, everything. Are they dated these? I better find out Kareem. No, Rick got Kareem got his. Not no Rick. Not yet. Not yet. I always call no Rick Kareem and Kareem no Rick. I guess because their name sound a, sort of sounds a little bit alike. Okay, these are ready. Get them out. And we're done. Oops. Right on the stove. Okay. So, y'all know I started out with six. Uh, Kareem's got the other three. So, there they are. Such a beautiful plate of food. Uh, I'll probably eat one of these. The Tansy will eat the rest. And um, I'm going to have mine with a cup of hot. Uh, what did I just talk about a while ago? No. Yeah, I forgot. I'm going to eat mine. Excuse me for a minute, y'all. Okay, I'm going to eat mine with a cup of hot green tea. Just going to have the one and then a, one piece of that sausage. And I'm done with it because I do want to be able to sample my uh, bread. Y'all know I can cook this stuff. I can't eat all of it a lot. I 
but anyway, I can taste that, but I can't just have, you know, just like, you know, how I was doing before, if I wanted um, bread, could not eat three or four slices of it. So, I'm going to cut it short right here, and we're going to go ahead and sit down, relax, and enjoy this little breakfast snack, and then I'm going to pull that bread pudding out, and we'll talk about the bread pudding shortly. Okay, 45 minutes up. I let it sit in for another five minutes into the oven. The time is, the baking time is done. Uh, I'm going to have to let it cool all the way down, then I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to do, do a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just a little confectioner's sugar and milk and flavor on top, just drizzle, and then I'm going to crush these toasted nuts and some, um, you know, cinnamon toast crunch cereal is really, really good. So I'm going to crunch some of those up and put on there as well. So I'm just going to put them all in the bag and get them crunched up, sprinkle the top after I put that confectioner sugar frosting on. So it's going to be about 30 minutes before it cools down enough, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these together the uh, little bit of uh, <clears throat> confectioner sugar drizzle. Just be very careful when you put milk in or water, whatever your liquid is going to be, because it doesn't take a lot. I'm going to say, okay, that's one tablespoon, and this is a half a cup of uh, confectioner sugar. So that's one tablespoon to a half cup. And see how it starts to melt down already? So if you want it spreadable like that, and I've got a <clears throat> teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavor in there and a pinch of salt. That's all I've got in there. So that's all it takes to get that going. You know what? That's just about where I want, and that's about as much as I want. This is already sweet. I'm just doing this as just a, a little topping to go on that bread pudding. Okay? Mmm. Yum, yum. It's perfect, y'all. So, I'm ready to go ahead and uh, put this on top. And when I put it on top, I've already crunched up my cup of uh, wal toasted walnuts. And uh, about a cup and a half of, um, what do you call it? a cup, rather, of uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Just a cereal that you feed your kids if they like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do this drizzle like this. And as you'll see, it's not going to be a whole lot. All we want is just enough to hold that <clears throat> those toppings on because remember bread pudding is already sweet we don't want it we don't want to get it overly sweet well i think it's going to be enough probably could have used a little bit more but i'm going to make this work because i like I, said, I know this is already very very sweet and, and this confection of sugar you know it's all sugar so we're gonna make this, we're gonna make do with what we got here. Just keep spreading it until you get it all over there. It's not that much to do. <clears throat> not that much to do at all. And then, see, that was a plenty to get it on there. Okay. Okay. Believe it or not, we still watch, I'm re-watching the wives. Uh, tales. Why? <laughs> I said wives here. Um, I forgot the name of it. Um, okay. Okay. That's a plenty on there. That's all we need on there. That's sweet. And then the nuts and the uh, syrup is going to be sweet. So that's a plenty. I just went over there and turned it down a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start spreading my topping on. This is my nuts and my cereal. It's going to be nice and crunchy on top. Ooh, it's going to be good. Cold glass of milk. Hot cup of coffee or tea or whatever. I'm going to rest that right on top. And just make sure you spread it on top and sort of <clears throat> pat it a little bit so that the uh, nuts and the cereal will stick to the top so when you cut it, it'll be on there. Now that's going to be some good eating, y'all. This bread pudding is still warm. I left it warm because for me, I love, 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 
I love hot sweet potato pie and I like a hot or warm bread pudding. So that's our strawberry cinnamon walnut cinnamon toast crunch bread pudding. Okay. Hope y'all stuck with me through the entire process because this bread pudding is finished, y'all. So all we have to do now is go ahead and cut it. What I always do, you know how kids do. I always like to cut it like I want. So that's one, two, three. I'll make three cuts. So I'll make one all the way through there. I'll make another one about there. There, there, there. I'll make another one about there. Okay. So at least when I do this pan, I like to get 12, a good 12 square. So then I'll make one, two, three. So that'll give me how many? I can't count all of a sudden. Why am I having to turn this around? So I think I'm going to do it one like this. Well, do the same thing. If I do, let's see, three or four. See, that'll give you nice size squares because, like I said, this is sweet and you don't want a great big old chunk. At least I don't. If you get a, uh, if you want a great big chunk, then you just take two. So I'll do one, two, three. Same thing through here. I'll do one, two, three cuttings through here. And I think this will give me. So this pan yields. 4 down 4 is 16. This pan will yield for, for these size squares. It will yield uh, 14 square. I mean, see, I'm sorry, 16 squares. And this is, to me, this is good enough. Like I say, I don't like big old pieces. I can't eat, I can't eat a lot at one time like this stuff here. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and get me a saucer and show you what it looks like inside so you know what to expect. Now, if this was my friend Barb, she'd have some kind of drizzle. But since I've already drizzled, I don't need anything else on here for me. And, of course, you know, like most people, I like the corner piece. And once you get the corner piece out of there, it's easiest. See there? Mmm, yeah, that goodness. Mmm. It's good in pudding. Pudding. Mmm. Yum, yum, yummy. That is wonderful. So let's get it right there. And there it is. All thing needs to happen to that right now. And you can sort of garnish the plate because you know your nuts, you, you want to get all your nuts and your crumblies out of there. Just drop them right on top of the plate. Just drop them right on the plate. And I do I wish I had some um strawberries to cut, but I, of course, I put all the strawberries into the mix. So there it is, y'all. I didn't cut me a very big piece because I didn't want a big piece, but she's, as you can see, it's nice and firm, and it looks like pudding inside. So all that's left to do is to eat it. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to partake of it like so. Mmm. It's still warm too. That is so good, y'all. Mmm. Yum. So, as always, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. And most of all, thank y'all for your support as I've been going through my little health issues here and there. Um, excuse me that I have not been answering your uh, comments like I have, but again, been having that little sciatic nerve thing going on. And you know, I answered a few as best as I could, but I will go back. I'm going to go back. Trust me, y'all know me. I'm going to go back and pick up where I left off and continue answering your comments because I do want you to know that I love you. I appreciate you and what you say to me I like to be able to respond and comment 
and talk to you. That's that's where we hold our conversation. So until I decide to cook again, I'm going to say love you guys. Keep those prayers going up now until the blessings come down. Because as you know, we're still praying for Kobe and um, Kobe Bryant and his family. Oh, my God. Yes, we are. And again, uh, consider reconciliation. Continue to pray without ceasing because we all need are in the need of prayer daily. Every hour of the day, I'm in the need of prayer. So just keep praying because we never know when each other uh, is going through something. So if we pray and ask God to keep us in all our ways, to uh, restore in us a pure heart, cleanse our mind, bodies, and spirit, and to heal our bodies as we go from day to day. So, until I decide to cook again, love you guys. See you uh, next time, because I am going to cook something later on today. So, until we meet again, keep those prayers going up, so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo!